The FarmTrack system lets any farmer outfit their combine for precision yield monitoring and automated yield mapping. This video will demonstrate an installation of the yield monitor and moisture sensor on a John Deere 9570 STS combine. To install, you will need a power drill, pliers, vice grips or cutters, a center punch, measuring tape, flathead screwdriver, permanent marker, and an optional file. Installation begins with selecting the drilling locations for the farm track's optical sensors. The sensors mount on opposite sides of the clean grain elevator and should be aligned in the middle of the elevator paddle. Sensors should be installed as high up the elevator as reasonably possible, in a place where you can access the inside and outside of the elevator. For this John Deere combine, the proper location is 78 inches up from the center of the bearing and two and a quarter inches from the back of the elevator. Measure the height and distance for the holes. Use a center punch to mark the location. At the marked location, use the pilot bit to drill a pilot hole. Replace the pilot bit with the step drill bit and drill a 3 quarter inch or 18 millimeter hole. Use a file to remove any sharp burrs from the drilled hole. It's very important to thoroughly clean the area around the drilled hole, removing any oil, grease, or debris with the supplied alcohol wipes. With a flashlight, check to confirm there is no paddle directly behind the drilled hole. If there is, manually advance the elevator chain so that the space is clear. Wait several minutes for the alcohol to completely dry from the elevator surface. Take one of the mounting plates and remove the adhesive backing. Insert the drill guide onto the mounting plate and turn the guide clockwise until it clicks in place. Align the drill guide with the hole and press the plate on firmly for at least 15 seconds. Next, we install the Yield Monitor Electronic Control Unit, or ECU, in the combine cab. The ECU is the data logger for the yield monitor. It is powered by 12 volt switched power and draws less than one amp of current, so splicing it into the radio line is okay. Remove any necessary headliner panels or lights in the cab to access power. Locate a 12 volt switch power source and use the supplied T-splice connectors to connect to power and ground. Attach the red spade connector from the lead to power and the black spade connector to ground. Connect the 15 pin connector of the primary wiring harness to the yield monitor and tighten the screws. The yield monitor should be mounted in a safe, dry location inside the cab. The FarmTrack's GPS antenna is installed on the roof of the combine in the center line of the cab. The antenna has an adhesive backing to secure it to the roof. Run the wiring from the antenna into the cab using the same entry point as the primary wiring harness. Connect the GPS wire to the yield monitor ECU. Yield monitor wiring will need to be routed outside of the cab towards the clean grain elevator. In this install, we exited through a bulkhead and joined to the main wiring path of the combine. Return to the elevator to finish optical sensor installation. Remove the drill guide from the mounting plate by turning it counterclockwise. Place the drill guide onto the drill extension and attach the pilot bit. Put the drill extension through the hole and click the guide into place by turning clockwise. This ensures straight alignment of the drill for drilling a second hole. To remove, turn the drill guide counterclockwise and replace the pilot drill bit with the step drill bit. Drill into the pilot hole of the back wall. Deburr the hole if necessary. Use another alcohol wipe to clean the area around the back hole. Let the alcohol evaporate completely. Attach the mounting plate to the back of the elevator by removing the adhesive backing and using the drill guide to align the holes. Remove the drill guide after one minute. Insert both optical sensors into the plates and turn clockwise to lock. The sensor with two LEDs goes on the front face of the elevator. Connect the sensors to the primary wiring harness. Next, we install the moisture sensor on the elevator hatch door. For installation, you will need the following tools. A paper cutting template provided in the kit. Center punch, two and nine sixteenths hole saw, angle grinder with cutoff wheel blade, Phillips screwdriver, five sixteenths sockets. Choose an installation location that is close to where grain exits the cross auger of the elevator. 
near the lowest point of the hatch door. This will be around the 6, 6.30 o'clock position. The sensor should be oriented so that the trailing harness is going towards the clean grain elevator. Position the moisture sensor cutter template in the desired location on the inside of the door. Use a center punch to mark the crosshairs of the two hole saw drilling locations. Use the 2 and 9 16 hole saw to drill two hole saw circles. Use an angle grinder or plasma cutter to clear the opening entirely. Place the moisture sensor against the cut opening, holding it from the outside of the hatch door. Align the stainless steel flange against the sensor on the inside of the door. Use the supplied hardware to screw the sensor and flange into place. Once the flange and sensor are mounted in the door, place the sensor lid on the outside of the door and secure it with the nylock nuts. Tighten using a 5 16 socket. Avoid over tightening. Plug the moisture sensor wiring harness into the yield monitor interconnect wiring harness to power the moisture sensor. Installation of the farm track system is now complete. For more resources, visit our website at farmtrx.com.